Hi guys, my name is Sharvansh and today I'm gonna show you how you can deploy the applications in SSCM. So let me start this video. I have taken a scenario how I'm gonna deploy the uh, 7-Zip application. Okay, so I have a 7-Zip application with the MSI format. So let me start this video and I will show you how you can deploy your MSI file under the application. So let me create a new application and i am under the sscm in uh, software library under software library application so here is uh, by default it selected msi file if you have the uh, any other format you can select it but in this scenario i'm gonna show you how you can deploy the msi application so let me browse this and i'm gonna let me check the source file here So it's a software deployment and now i'm gonna select it the 16.0 msi file so now click on next and it's showing like a publisher is could not verified msi file could not verify so sometimes it shows where the signature are not verified on the msi file so no need to worry just click on the next and just click next and here is the information about the 7-Zip application. So this is uh, uh, this signature is not validated properly. So that's why this application is not giving you the complete details. So just I am filling the manually this application detail. Let's say by the 7-Zip and the software version. I'm gonna use it. It's a 16.0. 16 version. And here is a selection so I'm gonna create it this application or for what purpose so it is a business application or something else uh, you can mention it so here I'm gonna just uh, use a tool application it is like a tool uh, to uh, zip and unzip the applications so anything you can get based on your company standard so now click on next and it's uh, as it is a MSI so already it's taking the installation um, path and here is a installation behavior so i can select it first this run the program on the 32 bit and the 64 bit the client and the installation behavior installation at the, the uh, resources the device otherwise on the user so i'm gonna select it like a, a system so this will install as a uh, this application will install as a on a system if i'm gonna deploy as a user so wherever user will log in that application gonna install automatically for that particular user so now let me uh, click on next and uh, select it will take few seconds to complete the process So we can wait for a few of the seconds. Okay, so this got connect. Uh, so this got completed, and now let me close this. And now here uh, we can see it. This is the application, and it's not distributed to any of the DP. And here we can see is the deployment type. So deployment type here is showing application name so let me correct it completely so this name is not looks good so, so let me remove this and it will be like a uh, 16 7 zip 16 version 64 uh, bit addition and now the content content location is this like uh, a source file is taken from my uh, source path and uninstall command same as the install command or no installation command or with a different installation command okay so let me uh, just uh, see this option to stage content for the client cache and i'm not gonna select it so let me go to the uh, as it is so now here is a deployment type so how you gonna deploy this option like download content from the distribution point or, or run it locally so if i'm selecting this option it gonna download in the cache folder and from there it will be uh, running 
so let me select it and download in the my cache folder so now here is a program and under the program it's automatically showing like uh, this uh, uh, installation command line is here and uh, uh, sorry uninstall command line is here and the install command line so both install and uninstall command line i got it in my uh, program so this information is automatically fetched when you are deploying the msi application now uh, let me go to the detection method so this detection method also automatically detected where it's showing like a product code if you want to modify it you can modify and if you want to create it like a, any other condition so where is the file is available with this folder then it gonna install or it will not install so uh, already it detected but you can add it like any add clause like a condition with that if this client version 7 gp 16.0 uh, it is uh, not there then only it will install so condition is like something matching where is this we are detecting if this kind of condition it doesn't matter then only it will work let me go to the user experience so this is like a, how my the application is behaving behavior during the installation so install for a system and a lockdown whether the user log whether a whether or not user a logged on so that means is if the user is uh, user is logged on on the machine then it will install if the user is not logged in and machine is online then also it will gonna install it so now the visibility so i'm gonna hidden it so user will not get any pop-up and interrupt their work if i'm selecting like a minimize or uh, normally so it will show to the user on the screen that 7zip is getting installed so always in the production you need to select it in a hidden mode and now here is a maximum runtime allowed so it is i'm gonna keep it like a minimum time 15 as it is a very small application so it won't be take much time to install the application and here is a estimate time minimum i am giving like a five minutes it will take and now the next option is like a determine the behavior based on the rerun code okay so this is the rerun code where this already is defined in this program and based on that it will detect whether the application is installed or not so that the rerun code i can show you here or the by default rerun code is defined so zero means is a success and no reboot and 1707 is success it's success and no reboot it should be like a uh, reboot and the soft reboot hard reboot and the fast try so if i'm getting the exit code on uh, this zero and it will uh, mention me in that is the application is got installed uh, you have the option to edit this and can mention like uh, if the uh, if success and there is a no reboot then what code you want to give it you can mention it or you can change the by default exit code here and this option was a requirement so let's see what is the requirement so here is like i'm gonna give it based on the uh, devices and all i'm getting here is i can select it like operating system type and operating system time type if the value is one of any one of these values so you can select the operating system where you're gonna deploy the application so this will be helpful when you bound the operating system version suppose you want to deploy an application on a windows 10 and by mistakenly you added a windows 7 also so if you are not using this feature that application gonna install on windows 7 as well so here is if you want to bound the operating system name you can do it and if you don't want then you can leave as it is so in uh, as i am in a lab environment so i am not gonna bound it for the windows 7 or 10. now here is a dependency so if i am having any dependency on this application like uh first any other application should be installed as a prerequisite and then this application gonna install it so i can give the dependency here so I, i'm i will show you uh, in my the next video how you can create the dependency for any other application 
so just uh, this video is about to uh, simply application deployment uh, which is gonna show you how you can deploy a MSI application in your machine so here is a install behavior what would be the behavior if you want to uh, give the executable file or the display name you can mention it here so this part is uh, all done and uh, I am just clicking OK and now the my deployment type is ready and now here is no deployment and the deployment phase deployment phase is something like uh, uh, we divided any application into waves and uh, we can start in the phase by the deployment suppose we have a, a thousand machines and we uh, don't want to deploy in one phase so we can divide into two phases like 500 machine and another 500 machines so both the deployments can be run on end user machine parallelly okay so let me do this and uh, first i'm gonna update this application to my tp so distribute content and this is click next and here i'm gonna give you the dp name so this is my dp name and next next and close it so after some time this application will be updated let me refresh and check it out so it's under the progress it will take just a few seconds to update this application on dps so again it's a depend how much time it will take to update on dp it's totally depend on your application size and how far your dp is situated so let me refresh it again and i can see in it here now this application is updated to my dp so now let me check out about the my collection so here i, I was created a one collection that name is the seven chip and i have added two machines as a my test machines so we're gonna test one of the machines the seven chip application how we're gonna install so let me go to again the applications and now my all the prerequisite is done that application got created a uh, detection method we have validated and uh, my deployment now i'm gonna deploy this application so this application already distributed to dps and detection method already validated let me click on the deploy now here i'm gonna use the device collection and seven chip collection let me do this and it's showing uh, this package is already distributed to my tp so here you can find out the list of tp where this package are deployed distributed sorry so now it is setting is like how i'm gonna deploy this application as a mandatory or available so this is the type is install i'm gonna create a action type is a install and this application will be like a available mode and now just click on the next if you want to schedule it you can schedule it and schedule the application available over time so now i have the time is uh, my current time is uh, one o'clock pm sorry it's something wrong in my time so if i'm not selecting this it will uh, available as soon as possible so now let me give the time and uh, let me check the my windows time machine as well so here is i am showing the correct time so let me check out the my lab time and this is not correct okay guys so i have corrected my time and uh, let me set up a time like uh, 224 to 24 i'm giving time as am and now i'm gonna click on next and uh here is something like display uh the in the software center all notification for the restart or all notification here so i'm gonna see in it the all notification what whatever notification will come to my machine i want to see that all the notification and this is something for the maintenance window if you want to select it uh if you are uh not deploying any application 
uh, under the maintenance so don't select it so anyway I'm selecting and uh, I'll let it go because I am in a lab so alert this screen is something for the operation manager alert so I have not configured my ASCOM here to get it alerts I'm not gonna do anything here now click next next and close so now my this application got deployed to collection 7 ship and now I want to go on my the end user machine so this is my end user machine and let's see how this application gonna install here I'm going to control panel and the configuration manager and here is I'm gonna run it the application now let me see under the poll under the logs whether it got the policy or not so here is the policy already so here i got a notification so let me check check what kind of notification it is the application was came here and something come so let us check the app uh, this policy is reached to my machine or not so this is the based on the GOID and let me search out the my application name So here I'm gonna see it. Uh, this is the deployment ID policy ID. I got it here, and if I match with this, my the deployment ID is matching uh, with in my the policy evaluator log. So it is a E double zero eight and the ending by two uh, C F eight. And now here I can see in it my the policy is E0 uh, E008 and uh, this is the same deployment ID what I receive here so now uh, my machine got the policy and let me see in the uh, software center so as I got the pop-up and I click it was notified me now the application is available for me so here is the application and now I'm gonna click it for the installation so now let me click and see and here is a log I open it another log is that is starting by app enforce log so here I can see the uh, log where I can find out whether the, my application is getting installed or not so here is the application um, enforce environment and it's showing the command line what is used it and from the cache folder it's used the one folder and this is the msi and the prepared command line and then it went for the valid path and it's installed it took exit code zero so as i shows you the exit code zero will be for my the application status so now this application got installed here as a msi and now let's see and verify whether it installed or not so i'm gonna on control panel program and feature and now here i can find out the seven chip application is installed with the version of 16.04 so this is what the application we deploy and we seen it how we gonna install it and now the second option is showing uninstalled so once the application installed through software center and then it automatically switch to uninstall button so guys like uh, this is how we gonna uh, deploy the application and i will show you something here this deployment status so here we can seen it number of success still the inventory is not reached here that's why it's showing the zero so once this inventory reached to SSEM and then it will show you the number of success machines here 
or you can see in the under the deployment go to the monitoring and go to the deployments and here is my the deployment for seven ship so here it not showing anything any details so or now what you can do it you can just right click and summarize this so you will get the clear picture about the deployment so here is a uh, content status uh, this tp was updated uh, but uh, this is not showing it's still the success status so it's still client inventory is not reached that status didn't reach to SSEM client that's why it's not showing once it reach it will add it here and you can see in it so as of now no machine is showing but it will show after some time so we have validated on the end user machine that it was installed and let me run the summarization here and refresh it so still it not updated the last update was 2 am and now it is a 2 32 am so it will summarize after some time and you can check it the report as well so guys thank you for watching this video and see you soon in my next video so next video will be like a uh, other different type of the deployments under the application okay guys so thank you for watching this video see you soon in my next video